Thanks for coming back to EMP Cycle Works. My name is Joe. I'm the owner here. Uh, lead mechanic. I do everything basically. Um, today we got a fun little job. I'm building a 143 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 engine. So I'm using a new company for the cam that I've never used before and the cam didn't come with a cam spec sheet at all so I need to measure duration and uh, lift uh, but more importantly I need to know the intake closing time so I can calculate dynamic compression. Yeah, dynamic, dynamic compression is the most important thing we're going after. So first step in me doing that is I need to make a solid lifter. I can't really measure, measure, um, measure the cam very well using the valve with a lifter that will be comp compressed under the spring tension of the, of the heads that I have. So let's get to it. It's real easy. Let's get to it. We need to turn this lifter into a solid lifter. Um, this is a factory OEM uh, lifter out of a out of a uh, 2021 Street Glide. So first step is to get rid of this clip that's in here, and then this first part of the plunger comes out, and then and then the hard part is getting the the next plunger out. I guess that's the spring-loaded one so I have a blind bearing puller tool here and usually if I just hand tighten this I'll be able to pull out, pull out that plunger and yes I am so very easy simple next thing is the spring all right so now I'm going to clean all the oil out of this and I'll be right back. So now what we got to do is make a spacer to take up this amount of slack right here. Um, I, in a measuring it, I actually did this once already, so I need uh, 1 inch 160 thousandths of a spacer um, to take up this part of it so I can make this solid. And luckily I have a lathe and I'll show you what I do. All right, just so we're clear, I'm not a machinist. I never claimed to be a machinist. Um, so basically, I'm just going to rough this together. I'm sure there's going to be machinists out there. If any machinists ever watch this, they're going to cringe at what I'm about to do. But I'm just going to use my hacksaw to cut off a piece of my stock. Um, I'm put a, a, a two by four under it because I don't want my hacksaw to hit the the ways on this lathe. All right, 11.60 or one. 0.160 is what I'm going for. That's what this line represents. Uh, we don't have to be super accurate here. Just as long as it doesn't move, we're going to do what we need to do. step we need to cut a little shoulder in this because the the lifter bore kind of uh, has a smaller diameter down at the end where the spring the spring catches so basically we'll just run this in a little bit again not, don't have to be super accurate here Okay, basically here we go, got my spacer made. Um, it's gonna take out the slack of this uh, plunger assembly in the spring so that we'll have a solid lifter. So it's real easy, the spacer I made goes in, plunger, and then the spring clip. Real easy. Solid lifter. Okay, now I can I can get my cam measurements. All right, thanks for watching this short video from EMP Cycle Works. Um, if you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out with the channel and everything. Um, especially leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you want to see. And have a good day.